capacitive proximity sensors are incredibly versatile devices that can detect the presence of various objects without requiring any physical contact. In this overview, we'll dive into the key details about how these sensors work, the components involved, the wide range of materials they can detect, and some common real-world applications where they provide value. Capacitive sensors work by emitting an oscillating electric field from the sensing face. When an object comes near this field, it disrupts it and causes measurable capacitance changes. The sensor electronics measure these tiny changes and detect the presence of the object. This allows even non-metallic materials like plastic, paper, liquids, wood, and more to be sensed since they introduce detectable capacitance changes in the emitted field. The main components involved include the sensing face which emits the oscillating field, an indicator light to visually show detection, wiring for power and outputs, and adjustable controls for setting sensitivity. The sensing electronics are contained in the main housing and process the capacitance changes. Capacitive proximity sensors typically have a cable for connecting power and outputs. This cable may be permanently attached or use a removable connector that screws into the sensor housing. Inside this cable, there are four wires, brown, blue, black, and white. The brown wire connects to 24 voltage DC positive, while the blue wire connects to 24 voltage DC negative to provide power. The black and white wires carry the sensor output signals. The black wire is the normally open NO output. It remains inactive until the sensor detects a target, at which point a detection signal is sent over the black wire. Conversely, the white wire is the normally closed NC output. It continuously sends a baseline signal until a target is detected, at which point the signal stops. By monitoring these NO and NC output wires, External controls or a PLC can react accordingly when the capacitive sensor changes state between target detection and non-detection. Capacitive sensors can be either PNP positive or NPN negative output signals. The choice of which type of output is needed depends on how the sensor will be connected to a PLC. PNP outputs provide a positive voltage signal when the sensor detects a target. NPN outputs instead sink to ground on detection. Knowing the polarity and voltage levels needed by the downstream components determines whether a PNP or NPN capacitive sensor should be selected. Capacitive sensors have an adjustable sensing range. Turning the adjustment screw clockwise increases sensitivity, allowing detection at greater distances. Turning counterclockwise decreases sensitivity for only detecting targets at closer proximity. This turning capability allows the detection threshold to be optimized for the particular application. Detection distance depends on the specific sensor model but ranges from several millimeters up to 3 to 16 centimeters are common. This allows flexibility for different proximity sensing applications requiring short or longer range detection. To get the precise range for your sensor model, check the manufacturer's data sheet. Capacitive sensors can be bolted in place or mounted with a bracket. The sensing face must have line of sight to the target. A common application is monitoring material hoppers on injection mold machines to prevent disruptive downtime from running empty. Capacitive proximity sensors are often mounted at the minimum fill level of the hopper. When the material descends past the sensor due to ongoing usage, the capacitance change activates the sensor's output. 
This triggers an alarm to alert the operator to replenish the hopper. By proactively monitoring the fill level, capacitive sensors help ensure continuous and uninterrupted operation. Capacitive sensors are also widely used for confirming the presence and proper positioning of parts on assembly stations, conveyors, and robotic arms. In summary, capacitive proximity sensors are versatile and reliable for industrial automation and other applications. They can detect virtually any material and are easy to set up and integrate. Feel free to reach out if you have any further inquiries regarding capacitive sensors. And if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up so other engineers can benefit from it as well. Until next time.